Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 10, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and there was a lot of movement in the foreign exchange market today and uh, the market overall. So main reason was uh, the US job numbers, which were absolutely horrible or much uh, worse than expected. And um, therefore, monetary policy may continue in the same fashion as it has been for the foreseeable future. So it was expected for the jobs number to be really good. And expectation was then that the US economy probably was overheating and therefore um, interest rates were going to rise. But that is uh, certainly not going to be the case in the short, no short run. So it will probably be a few more months until Federal Reserve will start to talking about whether or not they are going to increase interest rates and so on. But um, for now, if you look at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, we have absolutely smashed this upper resistance line and are basically trending way above that. We are up 0.58% at this current stage. If we look at technical the other they have all turned around and are very bullish indeed. We are getting fairly overstretched here, so we may see one, one day where we'll basically rally one more and then we'll pull back. And the hope is that this uh, upper res resistance line here will act as a support and not resistant anymore. If that is the case, then we may go significantly higher to the upside. To the downside, 20 exponential moving average will most likely be major support. So US dollar, Japanese yen, you can see that we are basically broke down quite significantly, pulled back quite a bit at the end of the session. Still uh, not completely over, but at the, we're trading at 108, 676 at this current stage. Technical indicators are all looking fairly dreadful at this point. And uh, we are just hovering around here at the middle of the bullish band. If we break below that or end below that, then we may well go all the way down towards the bottom. And that is roughly towards the previous lows here. And that's a drop of give or take 0.92%. Uh, to the upside, we have the 50 moving average, which has offered massive resistance. So let's look at the euro US dollar. Same thing here. We have broken above and uh, it's not as clear as for, uh, for example, the Great British Pound and US dollar, but we have actually broken this line and are trading above it. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning around. MACD is crossing the signal line and bullish momentum. RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, stochastic is becoming bullish, and we are also approaching the very top of the bullish band. So very good signs for uh, these currencies, both the Great British Pound and the US dollar, that they may go significantly higher in the next few weeks. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, very same thing here. We have broken this previous resistance. We're trading at 0 0.78 at this current stage. And if we manage to close above here and get another green candlestick on Monday, then we may well go and retest 0 0.80. So if to the downside, 20 exponential moving average at 0 0.70 will mostly be major support. If you look at technical indicators, they are all very bullish at this current stage but we are significantly overstretched in the bullish band. So we could see a minor pullback as well on Monday. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We continue to um, find support down here and it should as well be. It has been major support uh, for several months now, but uh, at this current stage, a pullback is kind of expected. We are fairly overstretched and we're significantly overbought. Technical indicators are still very bearish. We may uh, stick around here for uh, some time, but a pullback towards or a rally towards the 20 exponential, probably the 40 or the 50, that could um, take place on sometimes next week. Uh, breaking below this line, well, then the floodgates is open for much lower levels. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and uh, happy weekend. Thank you.